Now let's see this. Find the ratio in which juice costing 192 rupees per liter is mixed with juice costing 150 rupees per liter so that the mixture when sold per rupees 194.4 rupees per liter gives a profit of 20%. So what they are trying to say here is one is they are having uh, one juice and its cost price is see we are talking about profit and loss here that is why I am talking about cost price its cost price is rupees 192 per liter so before watching this you please watch profit and loss videos then you can understand it clearly okay so rupees 192 per liter is the cost price of one juice right and then the cost price of other juices 150 rupees per kg so 150 rupees per liter okay rupees 150 per liter now these two juices are mixed in some ratio which we don't know let us assume that it is n1 parts of this one is taken and n2 parts of this one is taken and they are mixed up okay and now they are saying that if the mixture is sold at so n1 parts of this n2 parts of this we are mixed and then we are going to get some cost price for that we don't know what the cost price is all right now it is they are saying that this one is sold at a price so when the when it is sold at 194.40 rupees per liter if it is sold at this we are making a profit of 20 percent right then they are asking us what should be the ratio of n1 and n2 so in order to find out the n1 and n2 ratio you are supposed to find out this cost price so once you find out this cost, cost price, then I can directly apply the formula of allegations and find out the ratio of N1 and N2. So before going ahead, you know, we have to find out the you know, cost price here. So what is the relationship between selling price and cost price? See this, we are making a profit of 20%. Then what we should, when, we, when do we really make a profit of 20%? When we sell a product at 20% higher than what its cost price is, isn't it? Therefore, if we sell the product at 120 percent of our cost price right our investment is cost price this is what we sold it at then only we are going to make this 20 percent as the profit this is one way of writing it other ways we already know that the formula for selling price is 100 plus profit percent in case we make a profit right divided by 100 into cost price in case we make a loss 100 minus loss percent divided by 100 into cost price now in this no uh, profit percent if you place 20 you are going to get the same thing intuitively you can feel that this is the right one right okay now from this you are supposed to find out the cost price so cost price will be equal to 100 by 120 into selling price now they are saying that when we sell the juice at 194.4 rupees then we are making some profit of 20 percent then what should have been this uh, cost price so it is 100 by 120 into 194.40 so if you compute it you are going to get 162 got it so you are going to get 162 here right it is rupees per liter okay so now see n1 liters of c2 we are assuming that n1 liters of this juice is mixed with n2 liters of this juice right and now we are getting some cost average cost is going to be 162 right so how to write it in allegations formula see this when n1 liters of you know juice costing 192 rupees per liter is taken then what is the cost from this part the cost from this part is n1 into 192 isn't it because we are taking we are assuming that we are taking n1 liters and if the cost is 192 per liter then this is the cost from that juice and what is the cost from this juice if you assume that you are taking n2 liters and if for 1 liter the cost is 150 then it is going to be n2 into 150 right and what is the average cost n1 plus n2 this is the total amount of juice we are forming right in the mixture so the average cost has to be this one now we are they are saying that the average cost happened to be 162 right 
Now if you see this, it is in the form of this allegations formula, right? So you have to just find out the ratio between n1 and n2. Now if you just cross multiply and get out n1 and n2, so if you remember that, you can directly write it. Otherwise, you can cross multiply this and get it, right? So you will get that. So you can assume that in our allegations formula, this one is representing a1 and this one is representing a2. The one with higher average, the one with lower average and this one is the final average. Got it? Okay. Now you can easily see that n1 by n2 by cross multiplying it and arranging the terms, right, equal to a minus a2. So what is a here? a is 162, right? You will get a minus a2 divided by a1 minus a. So what is a? 162 minus a2. So what is a2? 150 divided by a1 minus a. So what is a1? 192 minus a. a is how much? 162, right? So what is it going to be? 12 by 30. 12 by 30 which is nothing but 6 to 6 5 2, 2 by 5 therefore n1 is to n2 equal to 2 is to 5 so if you can understand that this one actually falls in under this category of allegations and mixtures then you could have even drawn the diagram and answered it first so what is the diagram so write the average higher average here so average price here is 192 higher average and write the lower average here which is 150 and the final average of the mixture is 162 right uh, now just take the difference and find out n1 is to n2 if you assume this is one n1 and n2 what is the difference here 30 what is the difference here 12 therefore n1 is to n2 equal to 2 is to 5 that way also you could have got it okay fine if you are planning to do masters, then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in India. I will give you all the reasons. So, first reason is, out of 1 lakh students who take GATE every year, there are only 500 seats in old IITs. So, all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And IITs, universities better than IITs, they have very good acceptance rate like 30%, 40%. But all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And if you are working hard to get into IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay's ranking is 177 and IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee. And looking at the salaries for computer science, of, uh, for software jobs, if you have done your masters in computer science in US, the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year. So even if you take an average of 1 crore per year, your savings will be much higher than the salaries in India. After taxes and your cost of living, you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year. And in India, the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs. So your savings will be much greater than the salaries in India and these are all the services that we provide university shortlisting so depending on your profile we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply and statement of purpose building and then LOR guidance and GRE and English test assistance and education loan assistance so you don't have to have any collateral which, which means without any security now you can get education loan Getting education loan is very simple these days and whatever the amount fee, the amount of uh, fee that you have, you have a range of uh, universities. You can apply for 10 lakh universities, 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities. But whatever it is, you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you, getting it, after you get a job. And then we do visa assistance, mock visa interviews and then connecting with the university alumni. So now you might ask why we should join Game of Visas. So the answer is we have 90% success rate, 99% success rate. And these are all the destinations that we guide the students to. So we guide students to any country that you want to go. So now it is not just USA. We guide to UK, Germany, Australia, Canada. So we guide, we guide students to all the countries. We work with all the destinations. And if you are interested, in going abroad, 
you have to just drop us a message on this WhatsApp number 9494 555 454. Okay, thank you.